Hey everyone, um, so this evening we're continuing our series in Philippians and the Bible reading this evening is coming from Philippians chapter 3 verses 17 to 21. So if you have a Bible in front of you it would be great if you could turn to Philippians 3 verses 17 to 21. But don't worry if you don't because I'm going to read it now. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. For, as I have often told you before, and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a saviour from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Now there is a lot packed into those few verses, and we're not going to unpack it all, we haven't got all day, um, but I'm going to pick up on a few things that you might have noticed and might have thought are a little bit funny. So in verse 19 we see a description of the behaviour of people who are living as enemies of the cross. And what does this mean? Uh, This just means that these people aren't Christians. So we see a description of of their behaviour. It says, their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Now, what you might have picked up on, which is a bit weird, is it says, their God is their stomach. Now, does that mean that their they're bowing down and worshipping their stomach, or they're singing songs of praise and praying to their stomachs. No, I don't think it does mean that. I think what it means is that these people value the food they drink, the food they eat, and the drinks they drink, and feeling satisfied in their stomachs more than they value a relationship with God. They love food more than they love God. And even as Christians, it can be really tempting for us to love things more than we love God. I don't know about you, but things that spring to mind um, that the world, the people in the world telling us that we need to have are things like money or a good job or we need to have loads and loads of friends and be loved by everyone. These things aren't bad in themselves, but if we love them more than we're loving God, then that's a problem. Another thing, um, You might have picked up in verse 20, it says, But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a saviour from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Our citizenship is in heaven. Now what does it mean to be a citizen? Well, as a citizen of the United Kingdom, it means I am entitled to all the rights of 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 the British law, and it means that if I go abroad, I'm guaranteed that the UK will protect me because I belong to the UK. So if we're a citizen of heaven, it means that we belong to heaven. So even in our life today, as we live it out where we are, we actually, if we trust in Jesus, we already belong to heaven. And we know that heaven is is our real home and we're just down here for a short period of time to tell other people about heaven, about Jesus, and to live in ways that honour God. Now, if we know that we belong to heaven, that that is our real home, then suddenly the temptations of loving things more than we love God goes away. Not completely, because we're still sinful people and we still are tempted um, to, to put other things before God. But isn't it encouraging that because we know that we belong to heaven, if we trust in Jesus, then we don't need to worry about things in this world. We don't need to worry about having money or having lots of friends. Because we know at the end of the day, we're going to be in heaven, where everything's perfect. Where we eagerly await a saviour from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. When we meet Jesus... It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so much better than all these things that distract us from loving God. So we're going to take a minute uh, to talk in our groups uh, about 
how we are tempted to love things more than we love God, and how how it makes us feel to know that we are citizens of heaven, that that is our real home, and Jesus, our brother, is there and he's waiting for us.